Hello everybody, it's Trevor Selescu again, owner of Monster Hobbies Online. And today we're going to be going to the Calgary Zoo, where we're going to be looking at their dinosaur exhibit there for some great ideas on how to build model dinosaurs. So now we're at the prehistoric park, and apparently they've upgraded this from when last we were here. So we'll see some new paint jobs on dinosaurs and whatnot. So this is Dinny the Dinosaur. And this was the first dinosaur sculpture that was made for the Calgary Zoo way back when. And Dinny has just been repainted. There he is. And then Dinny's got this little dinosaur baby here. So now that we've seen the original dinosaur in the zoo, let's check out and see how far we've gotten in our modern technology and what the dinosaurs in the park look like now. So what I'm going to do is show some of the animatronics as well as still pictures of the dinosaurs without animatronics. So let's go down and check out the new developments. So here we have a nice triceratops here. Note the color scheme that they put on it. Looks pretty good. There we have a T-Rex mama with the baby. One thing I like about the zoo here is all of the prehistoric rock formations they have in the park. I always like this cave with all the rocks forming over on top of each other. Really interesting formation.
You also have a lot of these cool rock formations with the ones on top of the columns. Here's more rock formations, and look how they just sort of blob out one on top of each other. They're not really chiseled as separate stones, but just as one big piece. So notice these rocks, they start thick at the bottom and then they're all layered up. So this would be easy to recreate with some styrofoam in different thicknesses and uh, just give it a chiseled look the way you want it to be. So here we have a nice combination of volcanic rock as well as these layered up stones. So again, some more cool stuff for uh, dioramas. So here's more rock formations that are interesting. These ones are six-sided, as you can see if we go up here. So here's more of those rocks, and then over here we get the smaller versions of them. And then if we come around to this mountain here, 
you can see that they're very tall and go all the way up into the sun. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little visit down to the Calgary Zoo and that it gave you a lot of good ideas for painting your dinosaurs. And one of these days soon, I think I will do this one, a great big T-Rex from Ravel. Actually, I do believe that this is one of the old Aurora dinosaur kits. And as you can see, it's huge and I should have a lot of fun with that. So I wish you all some good luck in building your dinosaur models. Don't forget to check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca to see all our amazing model kits and new ones will be coming in. That is, of course, Monster Hobbies Online. And until next time, everybody, happy model building and we'll see you next time.